All right, Doug Stimmel with IT Creations with the benchmarks for the two Lenovo ThinkStation P360 Ultra workstations. First off, I wasn't expecting any exceptional performance for gaming as we have an RTX A2000 right off the shelf and a mobile version of the RTX A5000 GPU that has 12 gigabytes. Keep in mind, total power provided by the external brick is only 300 watts. And if you think about it, a top of the line card like say the NVIDIA 3080 Ti or even the GeForce RTX 4080, which was just released on November 16th, 2022, consume 350 watts and 320 watts respectively. And they're about the same length as a little chassis. Not gonna fit. Still, this system is half the size of the next smallest thing station, but kicks it up a notch with twice the performance. That's what I call a win-win situation. That said, can you game with these little babies? <laughs> yes, you can. While designed for that certain person that needs a powerful yet portable workstation, this system does provide the goods for both work and some medium weight gaming. If you watch the overview video, which you can see here, then you'll know that both of these P360 Ultra units have the exact same configuration, processor, storage, and memory. The only difference is the GPU. We did test the processors using Cinebench 2.0, and again, both are outfitted with the i7-12700 CPU. Results were fairly respectable values at 6932 for the RTX A5000 unit and 6691 for the RTX A2000. Top of the line Platinum, Intel Xeon gave us more than twice that value at 16536. But this is a low voltage power system, so I'm not expecting it to move mountains. If you want ultra performance, then maybe check out the Lenovo P620 workstation with the AMD Threadripper. Outfitted with an AMD Threadripper Pro 3995 WX CPU, it put in a scorching value of 22,757 on Cinebench, but also a 20 to 30 pound tower, so good luck putting that in your backpack. We also tested it with an RTX 3090, RTX 6000, RTX 8000, and you can see that video too, link below. For both Cinebench and 3D Mark tests, we did use the same M.2 drive as we didn't want to load all the programs onto both. To make sure it recognized the GPU, we changed the setting in BIOS under video to PEG instead of auto. This ensured it recognized the discrete video as opposed to using the integrated graphics driver, which is what it did the first few times we ran 3D Mark. Thank Lenovo for that fix, although in the end it didn't quite fix the problem. Could not figure out why the values were so low for the RTX A5000 GPU compared to the RTX A2000, while still showing it was running the RTX A5000 GPU. Fact of the matter is, I think our RTX A5000 card is not running as Lenovo intended. The 3D Mark application showed values of approximately 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and over 6,000, one after the other, but never with any consistency. And I would expect the values to be higher with what we were getting from the RTX A2000 card given the price disparity. Once we have sorted out the problem, we may post benchmarks for the P360 Ultra with the RTX A5000 at a later date. That said, here are the results from the RTX A2000 card. We also ran the Port Royal for real-time ray tracing, and the RTX A2000 card performed quite well, rendering those complex shapes, reflections, and patterns, if a little choppy on the frame rate. Bottom line, not great performance for gaming applications, but not bad either. This system is more of a go-to for both work and play, so as a crossover system, I would say it does a good job. The unit is quiet, portable, and packs the power for 3D rendering when you need it, and perhaps some light gaming while you're waiting for the client. <laughs> I typically use my desktop for both work and play, so not the target audience. But for people on the go who need this portability and power, the Lenovo ThinkStation P360 Ultra could be a great fit for you. Check out itcreations.com if you're looking for a new system or to upgrade an existing system. We even have recertified systems and offer extended warranties. itcreations.com. Until next time, I'm Doug Stuman, and thanks for watching. <laughs>